Welcome. My name is Catherine Pequet. Let's talk about SMTP conversation and ESA pipeline. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Let's go through a glossary of some terminology we will see actually in this recording. One of the terminology we will talk about during this recording and all the recording for this class is MTA, which is Mail Transfer Agent. And Mail Transfer Agent, the ESA is a Mail Transfer Agent. So it's a box that receives email and sends out email. Groupware Server is another expression we'll see on topog topog topologies during this video. And it's, um, think about your Microsoft Exchange server. So it's your corporate email server. SMTP server, well, that would be an Exchange server. But in a sense, it would be any box that is able to receive an incoming connection for the purpose of email on its port, usually 25. So the ESA is a mail server. Exchange is an email server because they are listening on port 25. SMTP client, that would be the client we're using to open up a session on a SMTP server. So you can think of, let's say, Outlook. Outlook is a mail user agent, but it is also a SMTP client if it would be sending email using port 25. So anything that points to server and the server is point 25 is a SMTP client. Mail user agent, like Outlook, might be sending out email out on port 25 or maybe some other spe special ports that it might be using. So, but this, the mail user agent, that would be more the graphical user interface, could be Thunderbird, could be um, uh, also uh, Outlook, which is using graphical user interface to send out mail. MX record. MX record is a record located on the DNS server that will say, what is the name of the mail transfer agent for that organization? So let's say that my mail server here sees an email and the email is addressed to guy at cisco.com. Well, your exchange server that is here needs to actually find out what is the MX record for the domain cisco.com. And the answer might be back. Well, the mail transfer agent for Cisco.com happens to be mail.cisco.com. So what's the MX record? Is when we query a DNS server to find out what's the mail transfer agent for a specific domain. The DNS server will reply with the name of that mail, the host name of the mail transfer agent for that organization which means that the outbound mail server will need MTA, will then need to say, okay, what is the address associated with mail.cisco.com? And querying for the email, the address associated with this domain name, this is called a, a record. A, a record, that's what we query for when we are doing a NS lookup. So let's look at the different stage of stages of an email delivery. You have a user over here, and that's that this user is at SecureX Public. And he sends out an email, and the email that he's sending is addressed to admin at cisco.com. So he takes his email and he sends it to his MTA, mail transfer agent. His MTA might be maybe a, like an exchange box on his network. So the exchange box, or the MTA, receives an email and sees that the email is addressed to admin at cisco.com. That MTA will then extract the domain, which is cisco.com, and will perform its first query. And the first query that it's going to perform will be for the MX record. It's going to perform a query to the DNS server and say, DNS server, what is the host name of the mail transfer agent responsible for cisco.com? And the DNS server will then reply, say the mail transfer agent host name for cisco.com is 
mx.cisco.com. Your Exchange server that is here will perform a second DNS request, and this time will be for the A record, and that's a normal NS lookup <coughs> request, and it's going to say, what is the email address associated with mx.cisco.com? And will then receive the IP address. Once your Exchange server has the IP address, it will then be able to proceed with the SMTP connection. It will go to Cisco ESA because in the DNS record, we had published that for the organization Cisco.com, their mail transfer agent was the address over here, .159. So, dot .159 receives actually the incoming TCP three-way handshake request coming from the mail server of securex.public. Your ESA will go, will put that email through all the hoops. Eventually, we'll accept the email, process it, sends it to your internal mail server, who will then deliver it to the recipient. So we have here the actual SNMP con SMTP conversation, simple mail transport protocol, transfer protocol, and we'll see actually at over here the SMTP, what's happening during this conversation. So we have our Exchange server at SecureX that is trying to connect with our ESC over here. The first thing that it's going to do, it's going to perform actually, a, so there's four stages as we can see here. We'll do the TCP handshake during the three-way handshake. And during the three-way handshake, we will see that later on in the recording, but the ESA right away will have a chance to see who is trying to establish a TCP connection on my ESA for its port 25? So it's coming on port TCP port 25. And decide actually, is this a reputable source or not? Let's say in this case, this is a good reputable source. Following the three-way handshake, which takes place at layer four of the OSI model, we will then go into the application. So we're looking more at layer seven of the OSI model over here. There's three special, three part to receiving an email. There's the envelope, header, and body. With the envelope, actually, we are simply introducing the two MTAs to each other. So we have here like a code 220 after the three-way handshake, and three tw 220 the 200 means it's all good. 300 means I need more information or I'm waiting for something. And the 500 is usually it's an error. Not usually, 500 is an error. So in this case, we see here that the Cisco server sent back a 220. 220 means actually that the service is ready. Service is ready. So the sending MTA will send its host name followed by Cisco confirmation. So a 550 is action okay and completed. I hear you, I got your host name, I agree with it. And then we are starting to say who are we sending the email from and who is sending the email and to whom. So we have the from mail, so who is the name of the sender of that email followed by who is the recipient, the, followed by 250, which is, okay, completed, move on. So again, the 250 means that my Cisco say, say yeah, I see, uh, I agree that who you're sending it to, uh, sorry, who is sending that email. Let me just clean this here. So we're saying, okay, I see who is sending it, followed by the recipient. So the recipient, this email is addressed to admin at Cisco, and my mail server says, yeah, I agree that I can get an email, I will accept an email, going to admin at cisco.com. And then the data start. The, the data is the actual email per se. 
The email has two portions. You know when you open your email in Outlook or in Gmail and at the top you see who it's from, what's, uh, who it's going to, and the subject? Well, what you're looking at is actually the header. You don't really see, as a user, we don't really see uh, the envelope. Unless, like in Gmail, you can go and say, show me the whole message, and then you'll see the, the message like in ASCII format and all the detail. So typically, we don't get to see the envelope. What we see is the header. And the header will have who is it from, who is it going, subject, and the date. Other stuff that we can see actually in the header would be what we call the X headers. More on this coming up, but every time the, uh, uh, your Cisco ESA takes an action on an email, let's say it went through uh, antivirus, well, you can have your Cisco ESA add actually an, uh, an entry saying that this email was seen by antivirus. Now, the user will not see that when you look in Outlook. But the advantage of adding an extended header is that we will be able to do a search on a specific email and say, hey, ESA, show me all the email that you process through antivirus between uh, 9 and 10 PM. And finally, we have the actual body of the email. And according to RFC 822, an email will be finished, the body of the email will be finished when we have a dot on a single line, on which case that the receiving end will say 250. We know by now that 250 means action OK and completed. The sending server will say quit and or could actually decide to send more email, but let's say that's the only one that SecureX has to send. So we're Secure access quit, and the Cisco server will reply with a 221, and a 221 means service closing. So, what we're looking at here is what we call the email pipeline. With the email pipeline, is all the hoops that your email will have to go through by the time you're receiving the email and you're delivering it to the exchange server, corporate exchange server. The three big ideas here that we have to think about is that your ESA is listening on port 25, so it's acting as an uh, SMTP server. It will be then processing that email to clean it, to make sure there's no anti-spam on it. And finally, if the email is good, it will then go and deliver it using its SMTP client. The pipeline we're looking at here, that's the literal pipeline. So if you read the ESA user guide, this is the one you're going to see. Over here, it's organized in a little bit more user-friendly, where some aspect has been regrouped together. This particular pipeline is the pipeline I will be using on most videos to explain to you which process we will be focusing on on that specific recording. This is actually another way of presenting the pipeline that I will be using during these recording, where we see more specifically the hoops that the email will go through. But what are those hoops targeting? So if I give you an example, what is gray mail? Well, gray mail is targeting marketing mail, and it's also trying to protect us against anti-phishing. So again, this particular flow, I will be flowchart, I will be actually using it during the next recording and will tell you what we are specifically focusing on in that specific recording. So thank you very much for attending this recording where we reviewed actually the SMTP conversation and we also introduced the concept of the ESA pipeline.